Hi there, welcome to Grain TV. It's Wednesday, June 22nd, and today was not the bloodbath that we saw yesterday, although we did have some mixed results in the grain markets. Let's take a look at Grain Edge's trading platform and see where we closed. In Chicago, corn continued to be weaker, giving up four cents a bushel and closing on the low of the day at 392. Beans up five and wheat up only one cent a bushel. There was some good buying demand after yesterday's sharp sell-off in corn. We saw two different South Korean firms being in the market overnight. First, the uh, larger MFG buying 385,000, or at least tendering for 385,000 metric tons. And then a smaller deal from KCP looking to buy 55,000 metric tons. And then also India's government says they're toying with the idea of importing uh, 500,000 metric tons more of corn based on the drought concerns they had in the last crop season. So that too is at least some uh, good news in the wake of yesterday's big sell-off. And after the close today, we got a USDA ag attache report on Brazil and they pegged the corn crop in Brazil to be 75 million metric tons off from USDA's current official forecast of 77 and a half. But overall, the market continues to look at the weather maps and see what it thinks to be signs of a pretty decent July 4th holiday. And as we get into the critical pollination stage, a lot of the uh, large uh, spec funds and hedge funds decided to pull their, lar their long positions out yesterday and in the last few days. Uh, and that sent the market reeling. In ethanol news, we had the weekly EIA uh, ethanol production and stocks report. Production numbers were off sharply this week, coming in 51,000 barrels a day, uh, lower than last week, and that was after last week's record high. Stocks, on the other hand, were down a little bit, 72,000 barrels, coming in at 21.1 million barrels. So overall, somewhat disappointing on ethanol to see a big drop in the weekly production. Let's look at the weather maps that currently the Climate Prediction Center is showing in the 8 to 14 day forecast. This 8 to 14 day period starts to cover the July 4th time period. And as most of you know who have been in the grain markets long enough, when we come back from that long July 4th weekend, we usually see uh, some pretty explosive action based on whatever is going on around that time as we reach pollination. And as we look at these weather maps, we can see on the left temperature and on the right precipitation and where you see kind of light blue and light, uh, light um, white uh, background that's below normal temperatures or normal temperatures as we get into the northern plains and northern uh, parts of the Midwest we see warmer than normal temperatures so it's sort of a mixed bag here nothing definitively um, you know really overly hot uh, in this forecast there are some areas that show below normal below normal temperatures as we look at the precipitation map on the right we can see the below normal precipitation in brown here again in that northern part so if you put those two together and you think hot and dry in the northern part of the uh, midwest then that's at least somewhat supportive in the short term here for the markets and again you know we're going to have to see if these uh, forecasts start to materialize or change but that's what the climate prediction center <coughs> is showing to us today Let's take a look at the daily July bean chart. And of course, yesterday was a big sell-off day in corn beans. Because our growing season was a little later, we worried more about weather in late July uh, versus corn, where we worry about it more in the early part of July. But as we look at this bean chart, we've obviously come down off the highs that we got uh, above $12 for a brief time period after the USDA report this month, but we've come down in that 1130, 1125 range. And really, my, my eyeballs are watching that 1125 mark as sort of the support level we're trading here. You know, if we can hold that, uh, then I think there's a potential we can, you know, maybe get back to where we were, but we're going to need some help. First of all, the thing we need to watch is the June 30th crop report, or excuse me, the June 30th acreage report USDA will put out. Traders right now are looking for about a 1 million, met, or 1 million acre switch, uh, lower corn and higher bean number than what they had March 31st. So that's what we need to start to see uh, as of June 30th. And then, you know, as we get closer to that July 4th window and we get into the critical pollination stage, what's going to happen uh, in the corn market and, and potentially, uh, you know, the bean market as well. So stay tuned. You know, it's going to be a very exciting next few weeks. You know, the action we saw yesterday may just preclude or, or um, you know, 
give us some guidance on, on what we can expect uh, if we see good weather. So, you know, we've had a good run up here since March 1, but if we have good weather and we see somewhat normal yields, this weather premium may start to erode fairly quickly. As always, if you're interested in learning how we can help you at Grain Hedge and help you in your own marketing situation, by all means, visit us online at our website, grainhedge.com, and take a free demo of our trading platform and see how you can uh, use our platform to monitor the markets and potentially hedge your crop with futures as well as put some calls. As a Grain Edge trading client, you'll get our technical alerts email first thing every trading day. Technical Alerts is a powerful system that generates quality trading opportunities. Each trading opportunity shows a chart and analysis providing clear price targets and risk potential. Technical Alerts look at historical chart formations and compare the current environment to the past to form concrete trading recommendations. The commodities covered by Technical Alerts includes grains, livestock, crude oil, currencies, bonds, and metals. Start your trading day with the most powerful insight into market direction and improve your trading today. Sign up at Grain to become a client.